20 years to go. I could speed it up. But we all know what happens if I speed it up beyond 3. Bad things start happening. My brain gets hurt. My heart dies. Things break. Oh, no more defensive pact against us, eh? Well, that just means that we're free to do things that we weren't free to do before. What should we do? Get Puri, finally. Let's shop around for options a little bit. What can we do with you? Probably nothing. Because we're still in a truce. Unless, of course, we get to kill ya. Are we trying to kill someone sensible? No. We'll try and kill this man. But he seems well liked in his realm. I see a few potential open palms. But... Nothing too significant. So we'll just let that simmer in the background. Uh, what else could we do? Fish boy. Fish boy. Fish boy. Fish boy. Fish boy. Fish boy. How are you doing, fish boy? 7,000 troops is how you're doing. Let's see what we can come for. County, county, county. County. There's a duchy, but this guy doesn't really hold anything that we own. Do you, my friend? You need a place to stay, but you're also kind of old. And you don't have a successor. See if we can get you a marriage with someone who might give you a child. 55. You're not sick or anything. And you have a pet rat, so you might live a little while longer. Are we building a city right now? We are not, so we should. Let us build a city that we will then give to this man and then we will press his claim. Gain this whole duchy. Ah, I was wondering, how come you're a rebellion and I don't get to go to war against you? Well, here it is. We fight. Bad thing is, we could only really do border disputes, which are costly and not all that great in terms of what you get out of them. Bit of a shame. If we're working with Claymonts, we might look into something bigger and better. Like a Claymont to an entire kingdom and push there. Okay, no one wants to join us. What do we need? Yeah, military strategy. I believe we're still writing a book on that. So, let's do that. So, let's have a little look around at kingdoms. Might have a claimant for us to use and abuse. That would be a nice little kingdom to get, right? One wants to join us. Find someone. Maybe on this thing here. It's been an absolute thorn in my eye. Oh, look at that. And he's young too. We have a claim on Tosali. The whole duchy or just the county? I'll let us invite you to court. Nice little piece. But I don't see his claim. He pushed. Let's see if maybe we give him the city we can push his claim I'll totally go for this 
Whoever this. They're losing right now against an invasion from there. They're part of Singlefish Empire. Singlefish Empire does not have anyone who wants to come to us to help gain full control of Singlefish Empire. Check this one. I will check this one. Oh, would you look at that? Even better. Do you have a weak claim on the Kingdom of Treslavia? Oh well, well. That's not something. One thousand one hundred fourteen. These are all at the same upgrade level. Let's push some castle walls where we can. Yeah. I mean, you could just cycle through like that. And I don't exactly know why I never do it. But you just might. And get a better overview of everything you can do. I I don't know why I take the long way. I really couldn't tell you. You're threatening. There it is. And since we are an empire, we should be able to vassalize him. Or, you know, we lose another city to an outside state. <laughs> we'll have to see what happens. Are you in something? Uh. Right, if... If we hold a higher tier title and keyword are of the same dynasty as him, or if we are the de jure liege of this, he will also become a vassal. So pressing his claim is not going to help us. Always read before you commit to ideas. It might be bad. Bad, bad ideas. So how is it in this case with the duchy title here? We actually have two guys with a claim on the duchy, and one is young, much younger. Let's remove him from important, doesn't matter anymore. So you declare war. Ah, uh, it's also higher title and. I don't know if we would get it. A nice little duchy. Honestly, I think we'll try with a the kingdom there. Because while I say the and is important, and I'm do believe the end is important, the end might be wrong for once. Never know. People aren't happy with us being brave and stuff. Queen Hava the Wise, why do you never show up in these? Are you just an ally in this? 
not the main participant. Ordinary Beasts and How to Avoid Them. That's a lovely title for a book. Has been added to our treasury. Let's see what Ordinary Beasts and How to Avoid Them does as a book. Where is it? There. Plot power defense, 10%. That's not bad. Personal combat skill plus 6. Yeah. Okay, that's a decent book to write. It's a very decent book to write. We got a G as well. Ooh, plus Pike. Definitely wear this. Plus Pike. Better than our Warhammer. That's sure. Oh yes, alright, okay. So our city is ready. Over here. So we will get... This man. Grant him a lander title. Namely... The... What is that city called? City of Bellapura. Uh, it doesn't show up. Why not? Can I give it to one of these guys? Okay, we'll give it to him. So he's the duchy title holder. And for the other guy, we will need to build a castle, I believe. Find a slot somewhere we don't own. We don't have to worry about it. Castle. Let's build it. I believe it should be ours once it's built. Alright, so we have this claim to push over here. Or we should have, at least. Oh, a very good, strong steward. That's, that's lovely. Sometimes things just kind of work out. Designated region is gone again. Our vassal, the dear Queen Nura of Mirzani. Let's make it up. This guy. The commander's now all good. So, we have 5,000 troops, which is not a lot. And now we could... Press this duchy claim here for him. Oh, he's real small these days. Let's make him even smaller. So his troops are right here fighting. Well, these are his vassal troops. These are not actually his troops. So I believe we're earning 42. Let's do it with just our own troops. Fine, we can't afford it. Not going to call allies, which we also don't even have anymore, it looks like. There are his armies, which is neat for us, so we know where to go and what to kill and how to slaughter them. 29, we have a scholarship focus, which I think is alright. We're still exploring the stars, I believe. So how do we get in here without crossing a river? Basically from anywhere but below. here would be fine so redirect these troops to over here run over this vassal army of his which is just unfortunately placed and we have 12,000 troops just from our own holdings that's completely insane
course, we're leading ourselves because we're that good. Despite having a completely different focus. I think we put the center leader in the center still. We will go on the flank despite our very, very high skill. And the lower guys will also be led where we can find leaders for the lower guys. We have a whole range of options which we should deploy. Hustle walls was built. Oh, we can upgrade the stables here. Very good. Uh, everything goes once first. Oh, look. Okay, he's... Uh, ready to face us now. Leave me alone because he's taking care of his... Problematic province. Off to battle we go. Now remember, a lot of these troops have very high technology level. But they're also in way vastly superior numbers. some duke in the battle and we have taken prisoners and we will split once send this army over there to siege do we have a siege leader yes so he will lead these and we will go a different route following the enemy keeping up with them to go and kill them where they might pop up again where are you going my friend there to siege in a plains area not your smartest move but okay so now we're still double the number. There's a peasant revolt to deal with. Up in the north, we'll send this army up there once this battle is done here. The flank we were facing is immediately destroyed, basically. Um, I think we'll duel him. And we walk away victorious. Good stuff. Increasing our battlefield and dueling experience. Alright, and apparently we have received a letter expressing his thanks for the conduct that we displayed during the recent battle. Totally welcome for that. Let's give him some solid commanders as well. He, of course, goes immediately back. But first, we need to squash this rebellion there. And then we'll take care of this guy again. Ah, seems like the invasion was successful. I wonder if one of our vassals might take care of this at some point then. city still being built very good so we are marching and we can go ahead and select something we want i think we're going to go i will never surrender in a fight we will be unyielding that's a very good trait to have in any case
this rebellion is done for and now we will go and fight him off again right now things are fine but as we've seen elsewhere and in previous times these um, ex appearances might be you know wrong Appearances might be deceiving. So we're still building this castle here. It will be done in a few months. Our marshal died. Oh no, shame. So who do we got? This guy. He's not great, but he's not leading armies, so... Our good guys need to lead armies. I'm always loath to put the really, really competent leaders in the marshal seat. So this army is done, let's send them home and send them down while we win this last battle here. The very resilient flank he has. Holy fa- uh, no, no, not the holy elephants. Always pay for the holy elephants. Let's see if we get him as our vassal. And indeed we do. Let's send these troops down. And these as well. Bring together our retinue. So now we've created a little pocket of, a, of kingdom here. And we have generated ourselves a doge, a merchant republic vassal, which is kind of fun because I don't think we have any others of that kind around. And next we will try and push for this kingdom up there. Vassalize it. Except for the fact there's now a new non-aggression, uh, a defensive pact against us. I think it's very fitting that our doge over here, who has just switched over to not being a doge. Oh, shame. He has switched his main holding. Have you given back the city as well? Oh, you've given it to someone. Need something? Daughter mine. What are you good at? This sort of. So you go this way. This son of ours is not really showing any great interest in anything but stewardship. But alright. Alright, okay. So our castle holding over here is done. Which we don't care for because it's not in our own region. Now we go through these guys. You don't matter anymore. We did your thing. You kind of matter for this duchy over there, but you also don't because the duchy was absorbed. You, however, very much matter. So we will grant you a lander title, meaning the barony of Humphrey, and all the lower titles there included. Are yours now, so you are now a baron. Welcome. Welcome to leadership. And we should be able to push this dear man's claim on this. He will be joined by a single fish guy. 6,000. 4,000. Well, I mean, we, we could do that just with our own troops. Fairly easily. Oh, that, that's not our own troops. Cycle through these real quick. See if we can't upgrade anything there. What's the button for back? Back! B. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, this looks all fine. Let's see. 
could do it with just our own 12,000. Or we get our vassals involved for once. But why would we if we can't just do it with our own personal levies? Is this because of the defensive pact or you guys just have an alliance? Okay, you guys just have an alliance. How is your alliance coming about? Prince Birama. Arba Bilquis? That's not you, but that's also not you. Prince Birama. Prince Birama. See if we can't kill his wife. No? Oh, maybe we can the prince. We can the prince. Maybe we can kill the prince. He's a duke, so he might have a little bit more opposition than his wife. Oh, that doesn't seem very likely. I don't know why the auto invite to plot no longer seems to be working, but it just isn't. Maybe it takes some more time? I don't know. Oh, look. How are you king all of a sudden? You still have a pact? No. Well, good stuff then. That was quick and easy, so we don't even need to kill you anymore. I mean, we waste a little bit of money on, on bribes there, but this we can definitely do with just our troops. And how did we raise the majority of them here? Oh, right, we have two castles there. That makes sense. So let's fetch them all, bring them up over here. And we will vassalize ourselves another kingdom there. What are you over... Several wars you're involved with in. We'll take care of it all. Don't you worry, a pretty little head. How many troops you have? 4-4. Four, four. Oh, look at that. There's a bit of troops coming our way. Which we might just be able to intercept as they try to walk through our lands. Crossing no river, but we're going to fight in the forest. That's fine by us. We'll send some reinforcements as the rest of our people align. And you're doing war already. Who are you doing war against? Okay. Our queen is here to take a little bit, little bite out of him. Is she fighting for the city that we gave him? No, that's ours. Ours to mishandle. Watch this, the second we switch into the next phase should be pretty severe, yep. There you go. That's how they win. Alrighty. So... We'll have 3,000 here. We send this army there. We split it once. So we send this there. And this right next to it. And we will become leaders of this. This army is going there. So they get the siege master. As is tradition. 
And this army will be the one that harasses and harries these enemies here. That we have just defeated. And sent scurrying. So this will be led by this guy. By us. And by the flanker dude. Make a good team. We'll just sit them down here. I have my courtier, I don't care. We'll put them down a little bit exposed here along the Ganges. And as you can see, we earn less money, but I am just impressed that we have all these troops and we're still earning money. A trickle, to be sure, but. Definitely nothing we wouldn't be able to deal with. So we'll keep an eye on our armies and enemy movement potentially. All the while looking for new commanders that can do sieges because our siege commander is already getting a little bit old. And oh, look at that. Oh, there's a, there's a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch, and some of these are even fairly good. Alright, let's uh, not intercept them there. But we shall go over here, maybe. Let's replace some lower tier commanders. This guy, zero. How did you ever become a commander? I do wonder. put this guy in another one joins the court 10 he is our siege commander 14 this guy can be replaced I think he was one of our sons even I think he's going up here. Major river crossing. Do we want to do that? No. Don't want to do that. Oh, there's a whole lot of troops here. We can't even attack it. Right, there shouldn't be battle now as we move up there. Why did you raise troops right beneath us? Don't make issues for yourself now. Alright, they're here. Apparently we're not going to catch them. We might as well go this direction. They're yeah, slippery. They are quite slippery. But we can do a standard river crossing into a forest. I'm, I'm sure we can win this in suboptimal conditions. Yeah. Let's get another duel. And he did poorly in the duel. Didn't give us any good upgrade. Oh, would you look at us. So we can become an aggressive leader. Pursuit and damage but defense goes down or we could become a defender or I think which is better both defense and damage become an inspiring leader I don't exactly know what trickster does but I love inspiring leader and I feel it fits Emperor Eugenio the third all right some commander died clearly so in comes our next siege master And we'll put in the siege master here to also siege master stuff while we stick around to siege it down. I don't know where all her troops are. 2,000. I'm only fighting 1,000. Where is everyone? Should have more troops. 
our scouts are not in the habit of passing along lies. We shall lead here on the flanks because we might encounter the enemy up there in Kathmandu, which I think is... At, at some point, it looks like the game just kind of defaulted to the real names of things. Despite being entirely randomized. Really odd. Why are we even going there? Fly limit is really low. Dangerous place to be. We are below the supply limit still, but... Not the smartest idea to go there. Alright, let's send these guys here then. Battles are not giving us all that much. Sadly, it, it looks like we might have to siege this. Through and through to win it. Looks like they have resolved most of their conflicts outside the one that they have with us. Well, that's good too. Meaning wherever their landlocked soldiers were, they are now free to come back to try and get in on this fight. Now we are earning more money because our troops are slowly dying. But they're getting replenished at a decent rate, so it all should turn out okay. They will probably go and try and re-siege there. Which will, we will go and prevent by moving like so. Oh, our center leader died. But I suppose we go into the center these days. This guy goes on this flank, this guy goes on this flank here and we'll just attack like that. Why does he keep raising troops right underneath our bottom? What is he trying to achieve there? Do not understand. River crossing and into the forest again. But it should be alright. The siege was won. Send these here to siege. And we've won this battle as well. Let's give it a siege master and retire ourselves from the battlefield for a bit. We could deal with this rebellion who's trying to take our stuff. Ah, look, they have rekindled their alliance. But it'll be too little too late, I believe. Yep, that's too little too late. So he has become our dear beloved vassal. Who will also be extremely thankful. So they have their little... Oh, that's Mirzani. This is his capital. I'm sure he'll move it. Our daughter... I don't care what she becomes. She's just a woman. Oh, it sounds terribly sexist, but it is don't. We have this kingdom here. Who's, of course, a strong... And we have pressed your claim and he will love us until we reach the point of no return for the achievement. Let's see. Shame or... Are you good at anything, man? No, not in particular. Let's put him here and demand religious conversion of him. He can just... Go and collect taxes. He might get attacked by a peasant or two, but... He has heirs. Yes, join the defensive pact against us, that's fine. And I think with pressing for Clemence, 
we will have the highest amount of uh, success rate in expanding our realm now that we are an empire. I don't often do it. I don't often do it. But look at what we've already achieved again in just 40 minutes. And he's already going to war against these guys or something. Well, I like the cut of your jib. How strong are they? 1,400. How strong are you? Oh no, our wife died. Meaning we've inherited a duchy. Mm. Shame. What could we do with a duchy? This looks very attractive. Hey, kingdom. Would you look at that? Would you just look at that? Isn't that fantastic? So, let's check the duchy real quick that we've inherited. We've inherited all this here. Now, what have we inherited? All this here. Uh, let's give it away. I'm happy with the duchies that we do hold right now. We don't really need this here. There's nothing interesting in there anyway. So, um, yeah, we'll give it to this son. Because why not? Ah, I remember why not. Because if we give it to him, we lose a bit of control over him. Then again, doesn't matter. As long as we stay his uh, educator. Let's check the duchies that we hold. Right? We have this thing, which we just inherited. And we have this thing, which is ancestral, which we'll never give up. And we have Ratanapur. I think it's kind of cute. So this piece belongs to someone else. Why do you not show up with your own symbol? Because you show up over here with your own symbol. What do you initially actually belong to? This which we don't hold. We could give our half-brother this duchy up here. But again, I like it and I think we've also invested in upgrading it. What is this? Bayragaran Garrison. That's something different. Hmm. What to do? We can't hold three duchy titles. That's just not okay. Let's let's throw some some dynasty dynasty in here. Let's give it to one of our nephews or something. This guy, he's content anyway, so he's a great option for this. Get this. Doesn't have any important claims on anything we really hold. So let's give him the duchy of this thing and all the vassals that come with it. There you go. Just keep it in the family, is all I'm asking for. Just keep it in the family. Could revoke this county up here from our dear half brother. Probably work on that plot too. What is this called? Um, let's get this. Right, did I invite this guy? Yeah, he's still considering. We don't need to watch him anymore. 
already here. He's of the wrong religion, but once we press his claim, he'll certainly... I will keep him as a special interest. He might become handy later. Right. As I said, we've we've done a lot and we'll uh, try and push for this kingdom over there as well. Uh, let's start building a city that we can give this boy. Is that our city? No. Countess is building it. So let's build it somewhere up close. Maybe here, in this jungle region. Now let's build it up here in this jungle region. So it's kind of close. And we'll build him a castle. That we will then give him and we'll keep expanding our realm by annexing more kingdoms into it. I think that's kind of fun. Fun thing to do for the last uh, almost 20 years left now. Let's see.